You see that crazy chicken over there? Oh, really? Oh my goodness, I didn't know my Dominiques were going in the nesting boxes yet. I have never seen them even stay over on this side of the coop for longer than a few seconds. They always rush back over there and go underneath the tree. So that's awesome. I'm so excited. I don't know if she laid or not. Maybe she's just in there trying to get comfortable. But I came out here and I gave him some, some scraps, some chicken scraps actually. What are the what are the odds of that? They love chicken. Chicken is so tasty. But we've got this well somewhere over there. And she's just carrying on. Who knows what she's saying? I don't I wanna go in and give them some fresh water. Because they need a little bit more water in their little pan over there. But I, they're not quite used to me yet and I don't like disturbing them or stressing them out too much. If it's not absolutely necessary. But I need to go back in there and get that trash and stuff. I'm gonna let them pick on the bones. But tonight I'm taking them out. This morning I came out. Well, I was gonna come out anyway, but I heard the dog barking. Well, the little Casey dog, she was barking. I couldn't figure out what she was barking at. She usually barks at the cat on the back deck. And she, the, cat, the cat's just sitting there, not doing anything. But I open the door and I can't see the cat anywhere. So I just kind of look around, you know, see what's out here. And at first I saw something moving. I was way over there, just standing on the back deck. And I see something moving across here going back away from the house. And at first I thought a chicken had gotten out. But then I looked and I, I thought for sure, I was like, oh, it's a fox. So I, obviously a fox next to your chickens is probably not a good thing. Thank God I have this fence up. So I ran over here. The one time I don't have my gun on, the one time I don't have my gun on and I run into a fox trying to get my chickens. So I gotta get out of the sun, it's too hot. I'm getting burned. So I ran over here, didn't have a gun, but I picked up a rock and I chased after it, but it got away. Uh, I would have killed it if I could have. And then I was kind of thinking, well, maybe it wasn't a fox, maybe it was a, um, just a dog. But my husband said, no, actually all of the neighbors around here have said that they have seen a fox and he described it exactly how I saw it. Medium sized dog with a little fluffy tail and all that. So that's actually the first real threat for my chickens that I've seen. So I'm glad now that we have this coop thing. This, I mean, I don't know what you would call this, the run. I feel like they still free range because they still have tons of area. They just can't go everywhere and things can't eat them. So we're gonna have to reinforce it, figure out how to do that. But for now, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna give them water. I'm hoping that this girl goes in, goes back into the nesting box. She was in there the day before yesterday. And she made it nice and round and she pooped out all the sides. She did a good job. Anyway, let's go get these little chicks and hens and cute birds some water. They're my new chickens. The Dominique's and one Wilsoner. Actually checking out the nesting box, which I'm so excited about. I don't know what her problem is. She doesn't seem very happy though. One of the Dominiques came and bugged her when she was in the nesting box and she hopped out, so maybe she's just upset at the moment. figured out soon. 
that one is the one that was in there before. She likes the one on the very end towards the back. They all seem to pick their favorites of where they want to go. <laughs> Check it out. Look what I got. This is one of, from one of my black babies. What are y'all doing over there? I, I call them all babies, but this is from one of my black um, chickens. I don't know if they're full bred or not. We got them for free from our neighbor, so. Anyway, and then look, I got a Wellsomer egg and another one. And these are my first non-stressed eggs from my new chickens that I have gotten so far. This is day four that we've had them. We got them on Sunday and today's Thursday. So we haven't had them for very long. Um, these chickens are very skittish. You can tell that they're not, they, well, they, they're used, they're getting very, very quickly they're getting used to me and the kids. But you could tell when we first got them that they were not used to human interaction at all. But we like to come into our coop and pet the chickens and, you know, hand feed the chickens and stuff like that. I mean, I think that's, that's one of the perks of having animals if you're just gonna, you know, throw feet out and walk away. But, I mean, that's no fun. So, I thought one of the girls were coming out. So anyway, not the first night that we had them, but the second night, I'm pretty sure it was one of the Wilsomers because they had, the, the egg that they laid, they had laid a, an egg at night in the roosting box. So when I came out in the morning to let them free so they could go about the coop and eat their food, I went to go clean up their poop and I noticed that there was two eggs back there. And I was like, hey, that's not where you're supposed to lay the eggs. So I reach in and I grab one. And of course, the you know, the chicken puts it right in a big pile of runny, disgusting poop. So we didn't eat that egg because it was covered and well, poop is not on the menu ever for us. And then I went to go grab the other one and she had laid it without a shell. So it was really squishy. So my first thought was just because of how they've been acting really skittish and you know, everything that they, that they went through to get here, the move, every, all of that, that they're just stressed out. You know, they didn't lay, they haven't been laying, so they're just stressed out. So I cooked up that one good egg and I just fed it back to them. And then when I went to pull out the drawer to clean out the poop and, and get the other egg out, it actually got caught in the thing and it, it just burst open. So I sprayed it down along with the poop, but the inside of the egg looked perfectly fine. And it had a nice looking yolk, it had whites, no blood spots or anything weird or creepy, no monsters, <laughs> whatever else would be in there, I don't know. So, today is day four and these are the first two eggs, the first two eggs in the nesting box from our new chickens that are actual, you know, real eggs that I think that they laid because they're starting to get comfortable. So that's good. I'm excited. I've had a lot of people tell me that, um, you know, I asked in Facebook groups, oh, it's not all of a sudden. Isn't that awesome? <clears throat> it's like, oh, you could do a video. Now you can't talk. <laughs> anyway, I've I've asked in Facebook groups that I'm in whether or not this was normal, and people basically tell me that I'm just being impatient. 
and then I need to if if you expect your new chickens your new egg layers to lay sooner than a month then you're being impatient well my first set of six I got they laid the same day my second set of the six it's day four and they're laying so either, either they're over exceeding my expectations and they're just doing a fabulous job because they love it here so much or Stop it now. Yeah, you can stop it. I'm just blabbering there.